family kitchen. Today we got something great, man. We got uh, my sister-in-law, who now resides here, my brother-in-law from Ohio. Um, we're coming up to a 4th of July, and for kids, we've got this great thing for your moms or dads to make. And so I'm gonna bring Carla back. She's uh, had already over 4,500 hits on that Hollis Caramel Corn, so that's, I guess a lot of you eating that <laughs> stuff called crack. Man, it is addicting. So let's bring in Carla. Carla. Yeah. Morning, everyone. Tell them what we got going on today. Today we're gonna make Oreo fluff. That's a nice, refreshing little dessert. It's real easy to make. <laughs> That's what it is. So is that how we scale it? It's easy? Yes. <laughs> okay, so this one's easy. Easy. All right, why don't you take it away? Okay. The first thing you're gonna need is an eight ounce cream cheese. We're not showing the brand Philadelphia. Brand. Yeah, we don't check on the brands, but. Okay, you put your cream cheese in your bowl. You're going to mix this or beat it that it is, doesn't have, that it's smooth. Then you're going to combine 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Make sure you don't get evaporated milk. You want sweetened condensed milk. That stuff good. Good, good. A lot of things. You pour that in and scrape to get all the goodies out. <laughs> now you're going to mix those two together. Yes, you want all these lumps out. And mix it well together. How's that? <laughs> so there's no lumps. No lumps about it. No lumps about it. There we go. That is good. You have your thin frosting there. Then you're going to take 16 ounces of Cool Whip. This is an 8 ounce, but you're going to put two of these in. that together. Scrape it from the bottom so it all gets mixed in. Now, Carl, that cool whip usually comes in the frozen section. Correct. So, do you have to set it out? Yes, that's a good thing to remember. You want to set it out a couple hours before or the night before in your refrigerator. You want to make sure that it's thawed because if it's frozen, it's going to give you. A watery consistency in your Oreo fluff. So you definitely want to set that out. Okay, the last ingredient and the best is one Oreos. You just take them and mash them up. Now, how much do you do? I do the whole pack. Oh, ahead, let me get in on Okay, <laughs> get in on there, Don. Well, you almost use a whole pack. 
Don's got to have a taste of that, make sure it's okay. It's kind of messy. Yeah, it is. Oreo's good. <laughs> so I suppose the views that are adventurous, they have all kinds of different Oreos now. I've never tried it because... I've always liked this and, and every one that I've ever made it for like it, so you probably could try different flavors in there. See how that goes for you. Nabisco, how about some butterscotch whales? Yeah. Good. They got all kinds. Or the peppermint. Yep. That would be a Christmas thing. <laughs> so there's your Oreo fluff. Now, you can put it in a uh, container. Well, that does look good. An airtight container. And you can keep this into your freezer. You put it in your freezer then for a like an ice, ice cream consistency. You can keep it in there for up to six weeks. Oh, that's a pretty good time. Or, you know, if you're just having a party, you can Oreo fluff. Mm. But I believe it's missing something. Mm -hmm. I bet it is. <laughs> what do you think that would be? I bet it's the special ingredient. It's a secret ingredient. <laughs> secret ingredient. There you go. Oh, I hate filming early in the morning. But I believe Five what it is. somewhere, babe. It's about what, Teddy? Four ounces? That's about sounds about, about right. Yeah, about four ounces. <laughs> oh, the guy that's toasting. So that's it? That's it. Put it in the freezer, bring it out. I mean, maybe a half hour or so for you want to serve, an hour if you want it. Or you can just dip out of it and uh, use it and put it back in the freezer. Well, thanks a lot for coming. Well, you nice you're food. here. Cool, yeah. <laughs> so. You're stuck with me, babe. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Remember your veterans, thank a vet, and support your, support your local American Legion because they all could use the help.